Hello, mate. Hey. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Captain. Hello, Mr. Captain. Oh, it's John Wano here. You ring me up. Oh. I'm talking about. Um, I don't know. I got a new wife. Yep. Yeah, she she in Philippines. I got, yeah, yeah, she she good young girl. Uh, she she only a young girl. Ah, thirty five. That's good enough. I'm I'm thirty five too. <laughs> nah, good mate for me. She good mate. She's good mate for me. She's uh, from the Philippines. Uh, uh, what's this place? Um, oh, I forgot what his name of this place is. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But she, she's a solo mum. She got three kids. She got three kids. Online, on, on the Facebook. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, but I, I talk, I talk on online on on the video. I, I talk to her directly on 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 a, on a messenger. Yeah, so I'm looking. I can look at her, and, and it's a real one. Yeah, it's it's she's real on on the, on the video. Oh yeah. On the messenger on Facebook, like a Skype, like a Skype. Mm. Yeah, no, that's right. Make me happy. Yeah. Uh, no, 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 no. That one, that one's alright, cause she she's she's poor, poor her. She's poor. <coughs> <coughs> she she got a coffee shop. She she, she get up four o'clock every morning and, and cook and cook a coffee shop for the people on the, on the side of the road in the back block in the back block out, out of the city. Yeah 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 right in the right in the middle of nowhere. She right in the middle of nowhere. Oh mm, yeah. Mm, mm. There's some nice girls there, but you know, they, they, they're those type of girls that look after you. They, they don't, they, they're not like any other one. The Filipinos, nice, they, they, they can polish your toenails and, and, and oh, yeah. yeah, pet your head. And she said, I, she, she says, I, I don't care whether you got white hair, you're nice. So that's all right. Yeah. I, I, yeah I'm, I'm happy that filled my little gap while I'm working. Everything's going all right, Kenny. Up, up, up north. I'm going back up on the 24th. Um, okay. I go up on the bus. I'm a car to Pakaru at, at Jamie's. I'm just going to go back and fix it up. Um, money's. Uh, What's the matter with that? Oh, the hose blew, but it's at the back of the motor now. All the other hoses oh. blew in. The, all the other hoses blew in the front now. The, the, the one at the back where I can't get it. I started to strip it, but then I, I had to go back up to Kaitaia, uh, to Kaikohi, oh. uh, to the hui up there. So I left it there. Uh, I'll be, oh, I'll, where about you then? Eh? Where about you the car? Fakatane, Jamie's. I where took I, uh, Fakatane, I, no, I took her home from when we went up north. I, I, I took her home, back home, straight down there after Waitangi. And the car broke down down there? Yeah, blew the hose just coming into Fakatane. Oh, just as well it didn't break on the bloody road. Yes, yes. Um, no, I was filling it up with water on the way down. Oh, so, hell. There's one hose. The hoses were busting one by one. And, oh. and and then I put the new ones up the front where I can see, but the one at the back went. Holy bloody hell. So, so it's a big job. I've got to pull the hole underneath off. I started to do it at Jamie's. Oh. And I was, nah, I better get, get back up to Kaikoi. So, so um, I'm going to race back up again. I'm going to race. Gonna go, I'll go and fix it up um, maybe on the, on the weekend. Yeah, oh. Ma Manahi's, Manahi's brother in law is down there, he's a mechanic. But he was going to go and. Manahi. 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 Manahi saw me on my video walking on the road. I went to Penrose to pick up pick up some computer bits and I'm walking on the road and I video myself walking on the road. <laughs> I said, it's, it's walking time. I'm walking a long, long way from Great South Road to Penrose to the Turner's auction. <coughs> I've been buying me some stuff. I got me a mobile phone, beautiful one yeah, from China. Computer, yeah. 
Yeah, and I get off the bus on the Grand Transfer and then walk all the way. Yeah. Down uh, down um, um, Gavin Road and, and Pin Road, where Turner's Auction. Way well, down. There's no power there. There's no power there. <laughs> no power there. No, 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 no powers over here, only up at Robertson by your place. That's why I went there to have a feed of power and last night, and I thought, bugger, I'm going back today to get some more. Oh, yeah. was it nice? Yeah, beautiful. It's nice and fresh. Oh, yeah, yeah. Big, 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 big one, too. Oh, yeah, yeah. It must be expensive to live. No, oh, about $3 for, for, oh, for one yeah. big one. Yeah, one yeah. Big. It's a big one, it'll fill you up. Yeah. Yeah, but it's nice. Yeah. Oh, right. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, no, you, you're all right because I've got all my gear and things geared up to go up north. I've got, we're going to finish it off. What's up there? What's up there? Oh, they're going to frame laws. But eh? um, 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 Bundy and them are going to frame laws and Georgie Job is going up there. The Maori government is going up there to, to put a whole place. And they're going to frame laws, but I've been through all that stuff before, so I'm just going to go and have a look at what they're doing, but I'm, I'll keep them on track with what we're doing with Cook, with Cook Street. See, they're backing behind Cook Street, and well, I'm, I'm, I'm working on it. I could have gone and take it straight away now, but I'm, I'm going to use my old old guy, the the uh, private investigator, the British guy. I, 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 I had him back in 2012, and so he's, uh, uh, he's going to take it on again. Yeah, yeah. Oh. yeah. They're right. They can do their thing, but I just told them don't don't get mixed up with this king's flag on 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 Britain. This Britain. What? With with the British side of the flag. The, the Asian, uh, well, they could do. They're bloody they are, they are bloody already have, they? They... Yeah. Well, that's why I told them not to do that. Not not to mix it up with the, with the British one because they get in trouble. Don't get a pound yeah. on their head, king. <laughs> Yeah, they can do what they like. They can do what they like. No, they can't. No, they got to stay with the New South Wales. They, they can't play around, uh, play around with the British contract. It's a diff different kettle of fish. You got to keep them both separate. They know now. Bundy told them, don't mix it up. They, they can go together. They can go together, but don't mix the 1834 with the 1835. <coughs> yeah, they, they know. Yeah, no, it's, it's getting bashed around all no, sides. And, and, and the way things are going with the government, they're bashing it around as well. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so so that's what that's what we've got to do. We've got, we've got to try and, try, and, try and get Cook Street finished off. Uh, uh, I think, I think uh, we've got enough backing behind, behind uh, that Mariah and Epsom now. I can have that Mariah any time I want to now. If I, if, I, if I want to pull a hui, I can have that Mariah any time now. Kill him a waka marae, yeah? Oh, the one okay. where, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that, that, that oh, yeah. just for a koha. Okay. Just for a koha. But see, yeah. they're, they're involved now because we're just putting the title in Auckland on that, on that marae. And just as well because it's a Catholic one. Nothing to do with the marae, you see. The oh, marae yeah, okay. marae's would stop what I'm doing. Okay. Yeah, because the iwi won't allow it. But the, this is a Catholic marae. It, it nothing on their business. Yeah, no. And and they're from up that way anyway. Kaiko, those those people come there. They, they come there and stay. <coughs> so yeah. uh, so I don't get charged now. I just put the hui on. They they'll turn up and put the quarter way back okay. on me. They put the quarter way on me over there. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah yeah. So it's always a quarter way to, oh. to, to go okay. with to go with. But it'll work out, Kenya. I can tell you, I'm that, that confident. I, okay. I get Cook Street. Oh. We're, we're we're sailing away. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Hey man, how are you, mate? You're, you're Hey? I'm alright. Okay. I'm alright. What are you going to say? Yeah, um, uh, tomorrow I go for my chemo. Oh, okay. Is that right? Yeah. You like it? Uh, I don't know. No. No. I don't like the fucking cancer. Oh, oh I you don't, don't like the cancer, man. Yeah, you don't like the cancer, but the chemo work or not? I don't know. They say it doesn't work. They say it doesn't kill you. It just prolongs your life. Yeah, that's right. Well, anything, anyway. So I don't know whether it's good or what. Anything. Anything is. You just go and throw anything at it, like me. Yeah. No. Yeah. My chest been oh, sore. Yeah. Oh, That's you might have got bloody lung cancer too. Well, my lung been playing up, and, and and I didn't think I was going to get it, so I got that wrong off from from Kokowai and uh, rub it all over, and and oh. that's why I'm still choking and and choking oh. and till 
It's like a uh, it's not a cold. It's it's the heart. Yeah. It's the heart playing yeah. when when you get a sore chest. I got a sore chest yeah. now, and and I, I I'm I'm gonna put it to the doctor and try to go to hell. Oh, so my yeah. nurse my nurse went and gave up on me and said, well I'm on my yeah. own. I bought my own heart machine now to test my my oh, blood, yeah. blood pressure. Have you talked to your daughter yet? <coughs> yeah, yeah, but uh, oh, that's when Ash. Oh, sort of, but um, it's when Ashley went. Ashley took off, and she said, "I'm not coming back here, Dad. I'm, I'm gonna, oh, yeah. I'm gonna go away, and stay away." Oh, well, that's them. The, 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 as long as they. Always, always growling. Yeah, no, no. As long as I'm, 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 as long as I'm in my little den over here, I'm all right for now. <coughs> I'll, I'll pull us out one day, kid. I think you'll plead her wrong, boy. Eh? Hey? No. I think uh, oh, oh. When she was small, she gave her hiding. Uh, no, well, no, she had her mummy. I, I had my boy. See? Uh, uh, I, I had my boy, and she had, she had uh, her mummy. So that was, you know, uh, that's why that was di different brought up. <coughs> my boy was, uh, my boy was different brought up. He used to drive yeah. my car to Wellington, and he was on a little boy coming out, and you see over the blooming dashboard, and the, and the, <laughs> the, the, the petrol station, and went and told on us in, in, in Topol, rang the cops up, and the cops came along and I, I quickly switched over. Uh, while, 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 uh, uh, the people at the service station, when we filled up, they saw us drive away and Richard was Richard was driving and he could hardly see it on the dashboard. <laughs> and they rang the police down, down, down the line of it. I said, Richard, oh, better change over, mate, because I, I think I'm suspecting that somebody at the station rang up. Sure enough, the cops pulled us up. <coughs> I said, oh, uh, uh, the little boy was driving. I said, does it look like it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had to get no, out of that one. I said, no, uh, well, you yourself, yeah, yeah, no, you too. No, no, I'm, uh, that's why I'm choking like a frog. <coughs> I, okay. Yeah, I've got to be careful too. Okay, mate. Yeah. Okay. okay. Bye. All right. Bye. 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 Thanks, Kingy. That's Kingy. Yeah. We're both croaking like frogs. Now, well, I'm a, I'm, I might be a couple of paces ahead of him, croaking like frog. Yeah, I just, uh, uh, I'm having my power. I got, I got another power. Uh, yesterday I got a power of <coughs> <coughs> yeah, I got, <coughs> <coughs> I got some of these. My favorite. I'm just killing this. Off. I'm just killing this off. One of these. I got some of these. Look. From Robertson Road. Massey Road. Mary. I got on a bus one time. Everywhere I go now is a bus. Until I get my car. Yeah. <coughs> Kinnis. My favourite. Mm. Make my brain work. Um, but that's Kingy. I haven't had a little talk for a little while. Uh, but. Um, He's busy, he's doing something, and um, today it seemed like a day off going to the physio. I was going to go to the gym this morning, but I ran out of time because I'm online putting things together. And um, this gave me a bit of time away from the computer uh, to go to the physio, see Maggie. She's fixed up my back and my lungs and my heart and stop the coughing, but it's still a little bit there. If I'm still coughing by Friday, I'll go back. And she said, oh, I'll come back in and stick some more needles in. And the cupping, cupping. Uh, but my heart wasn't too too good um, on the reading. I took a reading over there in front of her. And this is what it read, just to let you know. On my heart machine. One for the finger and one for the arm. Um, I'm still waiting for the other one from China. Not here yet. <coughs> so my pulse on this one, pulse was 77, 76, and this side was 93, 92. They're still high, and the machine on the arm cut out at 208 for the blood pressure, and the reading was 168 over 97 and 70. So that means the systolic reading, the blood flow to the heart, was 168. It should be 147. 
and the artery going down away from the heart is 97. It should be 85. And the pulse, pulse, click, 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 70. That should be 60. So it's reading high. That's after having the cupping session. But normally it was lower. Uh, my pulse, my, my Fitbit was reading 71. It's reading 66 at the moment, so that's not too bad. But it was reading 71 when I lying on the bed. The last time I was there it was reading 56. So there's a variation in, in things going on with my heart. Um, that's why I'm arguing why I'm taking the blood out of my head because the blood re the pulse is still the eye, so you won't touch it. So that's okay. It's okay. I'll get it down. I'll get it down. I'll just take some of this medication next time I go and it'll drop down. And that's the end of that. But I'm trying to work out um, what's wrong, what's the problem. It still comes out to up here, not anywhere else. It's up here. And the doctors fail to understand what that is. They blamed my heart and they said I need a heart pacemaker. No, that was that was wrong. They got that one wrong. And then they said I need a stent. They got that one wrong because as far as the testing place where I went for older people uh, on the heart and if I got swelled arteries, they were wrong. These are the doctors and the hospital, Auckland Hospital and Green Lane Hospital. They got it wrong, and Middlemore Hospital got it wrong. Prove that wrong. But these, this is this is a government organisation. For all the people put the um, heart, um, what you call it, on me to test my, um, put they, they one of these arm things. But it went right up high, until it just about squashed my bloomin' hand off, and it put extreme pressure on my on my arteries, and it didn't swell and they were pumping all right. So they gave me a clear for that and I got a letter from the, to give to the doctors and the doctors, you know, they, I, I tried to tell them it's up here. No, they won't listen. Well, to hell with them. I'll do it myself. I'll fix it myself. They just give me medication and that's all they'll ever do, sell medication and not fix anything. I just told Maggie today, if I'm a mechanic like how I am and you bought your car for me, and every week you came back, I just put some stuff in the radiator to stop it from overheating. And you go away and it keeps overheating, but you come back to fill it up with water. That's what it feels like. Every time I go to the doctor, you come back because it's still overheating with your car. And so I just patch it up. I won't fix it up properly, I'll just patch it up. Then give it back to you and say, well, this should last another three months. And if it plays up again, just come back and I'll patch it up some more. I won't put a new head gasket on or put new things in it. No, I'll just patch it up. That's what doctors are. They just patch you up. They won't tell you what's wrong, really, because they get it wrong. They'll pull your kidneys out instead of your heart. Right? They'll, they'll pull, pull one of the kidneys out and there's nothing wrong with it. Then they're going to sell it to someone else. Well, um, today, haven't done much, but um, the longer I was away from the computer, the better. Um, uh, we've got a few things to do, but I'll just have a bit of time off. And um, um, get back on onto the uh, website. Um, I was going to do that tomorrow with Cecile. I've got some stuff going to Graham Aylett that private and risk yet. I'll send them a little bit more stuff today. Um, <coughs> just the, the videos on on uh, what happened on Cook Street and he's already got the early ones but just the in-between ones um, from the time that I left things with him was 2013 and 2015. So that's two years ago, uh, 2015, the last time I was with him. But now I'm just waiting for his bill, for the work he's done on it. He's already got everything there. There's no reason why he shouldn't just go and seize it for me. Seize Cook Street and lock the two landowners up and I'm going to take the whole place over with Cecile and run it better than what they're doing. I'll do a better job with managing than they do. I'll get the building 
up. It's supposed to go up there. A the 113 storey building should have gone up. I'll have it up in no time. <coughs> I don't know a thing or two about buildings. That's what I was doing before. High rise with my brother. Concreting and all that. But I won't get him to work anymore. It's, it's too much for him to do things like that anymore. Uh, and his boys were working with him in the concreting. I was in the concrete construction with him. <coughs> I'll get China to do it square. <coughs> I'll just do contracts. And that's what's going to happen. It'll go up in no time. Before your eyes. Um, so that's about a three, four billion dollar job now. It was 1.2 billion, 1.4 billion uh, way back in 2008 uh, for 113 stories. We're going down at least another 200 down to sea level. All the way down and out to the water and ship come in. That's the plan. That's going to take it right up to five billion. No problem. We've got enough accommodation under there and the wind to come up through there from the sea breeze straight up through the middle. Okay, you got that? That's how it works. I just need to sit there with the Chinese and say, do it. And they'll do it. Uh, so uh, that's that's what's going to happen with that project. I'll get it. I'll get it done no time because there's plenty more to do. There's plenty more big jobs to do. Down at the Rotten Point, that's another five billion dollar job, right through those hills, Malagawa Point, um, right in the Portikirua Kiwaipu region. That's Uata. That's my ancestor and Maui crown. The Iwi Maori trustees, you got a problem now with us the Paramount Chiefs, the real commercial landowners of this country. Show us your title. If you haven't got one, shut your fucking mouth. Because you haven't got one. You faked it. You stole our titles from the Hapu. I'm making this point on this video. That's Kingy Todor. He's been waiting to get his land back. He's not going to wait any longer. Not with them around. And those chiefs up there. Napui, your chiefs have spoken. Now, it's time to act because you were supposed to be the last treaty settlement. Don't touch that bloody thing. It's only less than 1%. The fucking bastard Pakeas are not going to get away. They're going to get a bill on the head. 100%. Not fucking less than 1%. The British still own this place with us as dual government. The Maui Crown, Federal State Government, Commonwealth Government of the world. Damn, stick that in your head. Because it's going to happen. If you don't refute what I'm saying, we've already passed the laws in Te Unuakamara in Epsom, Auckland, that if any of you didn't turn up that I've named, it's a default. Straight into Westminster Magistrate Court and Westminster and the British High Court of Admiralty in London. We don't have to go there, but we can, in a two-hour case. I've yet to send them what happened on Te Wonga I haven't sent it yet because I'll get around to it. I can take my time. No limits on this. No one's going to tell us what to do. You show me your title, Bill English, you've got nothing. Show me your title, any of your marriage, you've got nothing. Because I'm holding on to the Moriori title, the British Moriori title, in Edinburgh, Magistrate Court. Go ahead, you got it? Now, I'm going to show you my power. Here's my power. I need an harbour on my bus. I've got a chip there, and power here. And more killers over there. I'll show you my power. What's left of it? I've demolished. And it was hot, but I'll make it hot again. And it looks like this. It's the last of it. Look. Nice power. Power. Beautiful. The best in Auckland is on Massey Road. On the corner of Massey Road and Robinson Road. On the way to the airport. Massey Road, uh, up the road towards the airport from Massey Shopping Centre and count down over there, just go up a little bit more and it's over there, the nice fish and chips, beautiful, plenty of chips, heaps of chips, I've never had so many chips in all my life and 
I still got all my chips in here from last time. That's too much, so I didn't buy any today. I'll just eat that one up. It'll be right. So I'm starting to eat a little bit now. I, I haven't been eating um, for a little while. Um, because I've been not too bad, not too good. Anyway, um, back to this thing with this uh, Prime Minister getter. With Graham, he's a uh, uh, Graham Elliott, he's a ex-British detective sergeant, Scotland Yard. So, in my estimation, he knows what's going on. There's no doubt about it that John Key is a prolific fraudster, a bank fraudster, a thief of taxpayers' money. He's defrauded the public of New Zealand. Worst of all, he's defrauded the Paramount Chiefs and commercial landowners. Why I say commercial landowners is this. The original title was Te Rawaikato Wharehele in Manukau, Paramount Chief with King George IV, 1820 to 1830 period. <coughs> I'm going to do it like this. <coughs> I'm going to do it like this. <coughs> so you know. On the right hand side, on the king's side, <coughs> JP Manahi Parapara Mohini. He is the Moriori descendant, blood descendant, and his island and his country is Reku country, Chatham Islands. That's his country, period. Nobody else. I'm talking just for him and the British. I don't worry about the people on the island, I'm just saying. This is the correct history, not Maori. Maori is a design and ownership patent of the Crown Corporation New Zealand Company, New South Wales, Australia, and the New Zealand government prison convicts. That's what I call them, pirates. They are the pirates that have stolen this Moriori title of the Chatham Islands and Reku country that belongs to Manahi, Parapara and the Mohini family. Okay, those are Manahi or the Paraparas, the Mohini and the Manakas. Those three oldest names. You won't find any other names in this country as old as those names. I'm talking about those names because those are the only ones I'm sticking to the Wainoas which is 300 AD, Reku, uh, Re, uh, Rapa Nui, and Raiatea. Rapa Nui, um, Ireland, East Ireland, to Mokanui, East Cape, Te Pito, Te, te Pito, those two go together. Those two, 300 AD. That's, that's, that's my title. Over here next to Mane. In fact, I should be right over to the right hand side. My wife. 300 AD, Manahi, Parapara Mahini, at 1820, I'm talking about the British title. The British are recognised as 300 AD. For my, okay, it's further back than that, it's 3000 3, before Christ. So we're going, in today's terms, 300 AD. <coughs> this, this is how it works. This is this title I'm talking about that no one here can get near. Why we call ourselves commercial landowners of this country is because Queen Victoria made Moai a commercial contract, a commercial entity in London. She stole the first one and stuck him in London and hid him away for over 100 years. Then it's in the museum now as my title here, 380. Okay, that's it. Next to it, Mani, uh, Parapara Mohini at 1820. Paramount Chief, Tila Waikato, Whare Here Here Managau. 1820 to 1830 period, here. Okay, so that's his title that King George made this country 
a commercial land ownership of the king and this chief and now Manahi is holding that title with me the executor of that Manukau Trust. The Mohi Manukau Freemasons instruments of that land in Edinburgh title, that's the Edinburgh Magistrate Court title here to Awaroa Magistrate Court in Helensville of that same Manukau title to this country and the Pacific Islands right there. The British know that. Okay, so that's Manahi, 1820 to 1830. Then, the next to that is Bundy. Bundy, 1830 to 1834, cut off. 1830 to 1834, cut off. At the flag that King William gave. Now we're going, transferring the land from Terawaka to Wharehere in Manukau to Refa Refa Manukau in 1830 to 1834 period, cut off. <coughs> so Refa Refa went past 1840 to 1860 period under his own title to this country, the commercial land owner. He can seize it back any time he wants if there's fraud in it. And that's what's happening right here. So Bundy's in this side, although he's in the 1835 side, Manahi and I are in this side with 1830 to 1834 with the Moriori's title. And me as executive of that Manukau Trust and with M M Manahi the direct descendant. <coughs> in fact, the Whakamininga has no connection to this contract, even though I'm putting Bundy on this side of 1830 to 1834 period. Bundy is the flag and the land under that period of time of the 13 chiefs at Okiato Native Magistrate Court in Kororarika, Russell. That got blown to bits by the British over here. Blew it to bits. Then took it to Awaroa Native Magistrate Court in Helensville under the Manukau title seized all the titles there from the French, South Island, and from the Australia, New South Wales, New Zealand Company, seized them all off them, then reissued those titles into the 1835 side. Okay, from 1834 side. Okay, you got that? Now, you, you see, me on the end, 300 AD, Manahi, 1820, Bundy, and Manahi, and myself. 1830 to 1834, King William IV. 1830 to 1834, King William IV. 1820 to 1830, King George IV. And to the Waikato. Okay? Right, you got that? Now we're on Bundy. Bundy and the Fakaminia did not have the contract with the kings. They did not have the contract, though they had the flag. Not the contract. The contract was stuck in Auckland with the Manukau title. Okay? They blew it up, remember? Blew it up up there so they had no contract. Started from there, started from Hokianga <coughs> Captain James Reddy Clendon of the British Royal Navy and went from Hokianga to Kororarika, Okiato Native Magistrate Court. Now, that's our contract that rescinded into the Manukau title in Auckland. Okay, we got that. Now, from the 1834 to 18, and we're going into the 1835 period now, after the 20th of March 1834, when the flag was given to these chiefs, not these other ones that come after, in 1835, the 1835, 38 chiefs <coughs> from around the country borrowed this flag. They borrowed it. And when they borrowed it, they made the 1843. These are the Maoris. The Maoris started from 1835 under the Declaration of Independence. They declared the flag that was already founded in 1834 by the British as separate contract. This is a private contract. None of these ones business. So the government in Britain left 
these government in New South Wales that knew them in, in Wellington to run this country while the British held up in Awaroa Native Magistrate Court business and Auckland business and the banks. They hold that title to the banks. Okay? Now we've got the 1835. We're on the 1835 now. Me, Manahi, Bundy, now Hedewini. Hedewini is next to Bundy. Hedewini, Kraka is Selwyn Clark, the British immigrant settler. In fact, he starts from 1820 to 1834 cut off. Right? He's right through as our partner to me, Money and Bundy. He's our partner. But he comes afterwards as being the line of succession through into the British side and the Maori government side. The Maori government is after Hedewini. That's Georgie Job and Sue Nakora, the Prime Minister of the Maori government. They come after Hedewini Karaka. Now, Hedewini Karaka is a paramount chief. The Clark name goes all the way back to England, but he's a New Zealander. Okay, we, we call him a New Zealander, not a Maori, we call him a New Zealander. The Maori's call Maori Maori. That's George's job as a Maori government. The Maori government calls them Maori. This is how it works. The Maori government is responsible. Then you've got the crown on the end. Bill English, here, right here. And all his thugs in Wellington. They're going to get the bill from this side. Right, that's Bill standing right there with the Maori government. They've got a problem between them. That's where the problem is. It's always been there. So, Sunakura and George Job has to sort them out and get their money back out of them. Or whatever they can get out of them. They're going to get their flag back too. Then because that's got nothing to do with our flag. That's the Im Im mirror image that they've made of it. And they fly the flag around as if it's this side and that side. No. No, it's not. They've been playing around with that flag for a long time with no legal in it. That's why nothing happens. You can do what you like with it. Nothing happens because you don't have these documents on this side. <coughs> they don't have these documents that I put together. <coughs> It's over there somewhere. Okay? That's the magistrate court, native magistrate court. No one can use that. Only these chiefs and myself. Bundy, Waitai, Hiruini Kraka, Manahi, Parapara, Mohini, and myself. That's all. No one else can use them. And when they pass away, the title goes to the next one in their family. So nobody else. It goes back into their family to the next one coming up. It stays in the family. Right? It started from the family and stays in the family. The same as the kings and queens. Because it'll get screwed up the hell if it's got in pirates' hands. As far as I'm concerned, all those politicians in Wellington are pirates, including all the police and the judges in the courts are all corrupted. The justice system here is completely corrupted and gutted. They have defrauded the public of New Zealand with all the deception in there, and I've got it online. All the videos I put, all the statements I make, and all the documents I've got are all legal and true. Unless you say it's not, I've never seen anybody refer it yet. It becomes law. It became law on the 29th of September 2017 in Te Unawaka Marae Native Grand Jury Trial Magistrate Court. It's law now. It's law because no one bothered to do anything. Ignorance doesn't count. Ignorance and <coughs> abstination, <coughs> silence is no excuse for getting away with it and saying you don't recognise it. No, the British recognise it. I'm talking British. I'm talking British. This flag is a British flag and it's legal and legitimate. So, now you know, Georgie Job has to deal with the government of Wellington to try and wrench everything back off them.
good luck. Because that's one of the same. The Iwi Maori, the Maori government, and the government of Wellington, and Te Tūru Whenua, Native Land Act, and the Treaty of Waitangi, Te Tiriti of Waitangi, all belongs to these two right on this end. It has nothing to do with all this lot from Hiriwini up this way. Nothing to do with it. Okay? All the 38 chiefs belongs on this side, on the New South Wales government, New Zealand government side, from 1835 the other way. But in this country, we're sticking it to all the people on this side, Queen side, King side, Queen's, Queen side, Queen's bench court side, <coughs> are debtors. And they're liable for everything that's happened <coughs> from 1840. Married government and all the marriages in this country <coughs> cannot go beyond 1840 on treaty settlements. That's the law in this country. Unless you've got your own government laws, it's going to take a long time to implement laws that will go ahead of laws internationally. You've got a long way to make your laws work. And you've got to have 75% Maoris behind you. That's a problem already. This side, the Moai, Crown, King William Four Trust, has the Moai Tidal Energy Project shares in hydrogen with the share companies in New Zealand, now to where Wild Air Limited, New Zealand registered company, one of a trillion shares, parent company, 240, 250 countries in the world with flags on the site, moaipowerhouse.com site, a billion shares in each of 250 countries, and the first lot going out in England, not Britain, England, is one billion shares, and the first lot of shares going out at twenty-five pounds a share. You get a free share on just the twenty-five pound share. Okay, so that's our economy in the Maui Crown Federal State Commonwealth Government of the World dual British Government is already on our Facebook site and on our MaoiPowerhouse.com site website. The government is in script. You go on to the um, Maui Federal Government, State Government site and push script and open it up and that's the government there. Everything, the constitution, the law. Ready to go. Okay, when the shares go out, that's on billion shares at 25 billion, 25 pounds of shares, 25 billion. You can buy it in big lots, small lots, minimum 25 pounds. You can buy a million shares, 200 shares, 1,000 shares, and multiply by 25 pounds to get your shares, okay? So that's, that's how it works. But the big business companies that come in contract to build the uh, turbines and everything, the infrastructure of the cities and many cities we're going to build. In, in uh, Rotten Point, there's a mini city going there. That's 5 billion. So. Those those places <coughs> will uh, will be um, uh, hydrogen operated off Ranfilly Bank power station. That that that'll prov provide all the hydrogen for that business there and that community, new micro cities. Okay, so that's that's all this side, the king side, ready to go. This side is in debt. This has got no debt, absolutely no debt. It's taking all the titles out of the land, all, all the mortgages off the land, and squash them. We don't need mortgages. This side is full of mortgages and debt and getting worse. It's collapsed on itself, imploded because it's too much fraud. And we've caught them out in the Auckland District Court. We've caught you out, Shannon Withers, caught you out. I've got you on my mobile phone as being my court case the week later, I turned up at the court and then you changed the story. You little thief, I call you that on this video, you little snake. You're a little wacky snake. Shut up with us, barrister, bar association. You're in trouble with us because you've got a trillion pounds on your head on this video. 
every single one of you lawyers, barristers, police, judges, you've got a trillion pounds on your head. I've still got to rack it up to 970 million trillion trillion pound note. I won't even get there, but that's on you and your boss's heads. The whole whacking lot of you in New Zealand and Pacific Island and the world for that matter. British Westminster government, take note, Prime Minister Theresa May, I'm serious. You are the recipient of this contract between us, private, nobody's business, and our terms to recover all the debts owed, what I write in my paramount sheets here. Been usurping, the governments have been usurping our flag and its court martial law war, bank wars flag. This is a pirate's bank war flag for pirates who break laws of the king especially bank laws. It's a trading bank, commercial trading bank, admiralty, court martial law, magistrate court, bank flag, creditor. Got that? Now, the other thing while I'm thinking about it, now that we've got this cleared up with defining who's who, in the years and the authority and jurisdiction, in the separate years, um, I'll go back to um, the trustees and um, Morris Baker up in Hokianga area. I think he's talking somewhere there. Um, with trouble with his whānau on his land, building on his land. I'm, I'm going up to stay with him. When I go up on the 24th, I'll be with him and I'll go over his titles and I'll solve the problem because that's my expertise in land titles especially native land titles and real estate and banks and fraud banks and thugs and thieves, gypsies, thugs and thieves. Um, so I'm saying this, we'll go back to the site. Me, Moai, Crown, Rapa Nui, East Island, 300 AD. That fixed that figure in the history. Even New Zealand history has got 300 AD. We'll go with that for now commercially, <coughs> legally, and legitimate in today's world of, of banks and instruments, legal instruments that they use to make money. Now, we skip from 300 to 1820. Kira Waikato Whare, Here Manukau, Paramount Chief of Mangatotili Mountain, Cambridge, Waikato area. Hamilton. <coughs> North Island New Zealand. Now, we're going back to 1820. From 1820 to 1830 period of King George, the title was transferred to King William IV, brother of King George IV, <coughs> father. Father is King George III, founder of the United States of America. 1776. Right? Okay, now, King William IV, 1830. Period of his kingship from 1830 to 1837. But we're going from 1830 to 1834 period cut off on the title of this flag. This is an 1834 flag a declaration of war flag on anyone who gets in the road of a two-party contract between us and the First Lord of the Sea, um, British Royal Navy, Sir Philip Jones. <coughs> That's our partner. That's our partner. Nobody else. That's our partner. The Navy. Okay. Now, we go back to 1830. And we're standing there as commercial. I won't touch Bundy yet because he's Fakaminia. The Fakaminia has no contract. I'm talking contracts. <coughs> the contract came in as this country sold in 1820 by Terawakato Whareheri in Manukau. Between 1820 and 1830, the British were selling lands all over the world 
under that title in Edinburgh Magistrate Court and this native chief. So now that became a commercial landowner ship title of Admiralty Magistrate Court. Then that's under the captains of the ships of the British. So in 1830 the title transferred over from Te Rewaka to Wharehere de Manukau, died by then, over to Rewhere of Manukau. Rewhere of Manukau lived in Waiaku, in the Manukau Marae there. That was his land there. As far as I've got the history written here by Moi, Paramount Chief Timati Bohi Manukau, the fourth. Wrote it all up and I've got it here. I'm holding his titles and his Freemasons title 50 years. Executor and his administrator of his trust and all his inheritance. That the Freemasons, everything they've accumulated with his title on that native, our own native magistrate court to the whole country, to the whole world, no matter, from that point of time, 1834. So we go back a little bit further to 1831. St. Mary's Church, Tiki Tiki on my own Wānoa, ancestral lands, Marangaroa lands and Tiki Tiki lands of Uetaha, Paramount Chief, my family, Wānoa family. That church was the first to register birth, deaths and marriages through Whakawhitira, Native Magistrate Court, and Captain James Reddy Clinton, who was also in the Okiato Magistrate Court up in North, Native Magistrate Court in Kororanaka Russell Bay of Islands, and also in the Awaroa Native Magistrate Court Bank, the Awaroa Bank in Helensville. James Reddy Clinton again for Auckland. The new Auckland came out of Awaroa Native Magistrate Court in Helensville. The new Auckland became Auckland City, and now Auckland Super City area, including Helensville and the Kaipara. Okay, that's where that came from. The Nazi Vatos came through with that, but that's got a problem as well on their side. Okay, now, James Reedy Clinton went to Hicks Bay in East Cape, hopped off his ship, walked around the East Cape on our land blocks, up the Marangaro land blocks, through Tiki Tiki to this St. Mary's Church. Integrity on the hill opposite our Rahui Marae. You know what Rahui is, they ban on anything when there's a mate or someone died in the sea. Or anything that's depleted, like fisheries or timber or anything, they put a ban on any taking of any fish from the sea or anything off the land until that tapu was lifted. There's that much tapu around this country now, it's hard to lift because of these pirates operating. Okay, now, Captain James Reedy Clinton put the native magistrate court together in Whakawhetira, which is up the road towards Rutoria at Hiruharama Marae, up that towards Mount Higarangi. Toi Kārāko, Ancestor, Kōkāo, okay, where we got Tahiti, that's what Maui crown is, Tahiti, already settled in that Rahui Marae, my Wānoa people are Tahiti. The Tahiti was there at 1831 on that birth, death and marriages, straight onto the stock market with King William IV, he opened the stock market up before he became king in 1830 and he was in the Navy, Royal British Navy, at the age of 13 and spent 50 years an ambassador to Britain in New York City. He spent enough time as magistrate putting the courts together there and the stock market. Banks and these first destined marriage certificates from Tiki Tiki. Okay? So that's the title I'm holding in that church. That's my church. To the Holy Grail in Edinburgh Magistrate Court. 
district or city, with the Freemasons being there with the instruments, and that Te Rewakato Wharehere in Manukau, Paramount Chief, title holder of this country, New Zealand Pacific Islands, commercial land owner, title. I'm holding those titles right here as executor and administrator of that account. Creditor of the whole world as a blueprint native title to the whole world from this country, New Zealand, or Aotea. Okay, you got that? I'm talking commercial here. I'm talking everything commercial. The Whakamania has no commercial in it. The 13 chiefs have no commercial because they got blown up in Kororareka. They got blown out of existence, those 13 chiefs. It now became this single Moriori Paramount Chief title in Edinburgh. Though Hongi Hika Paramount Chief went to Britain with Te Rā Waikato in Manukau in 1820 to learn English in Cambridge University, where they went to, both of them. It was Te Rā Waikato in Manukau who did all the legal work, the land conveyancing, sale and purchase agreement of this country and Pacific Islands, including Rekhu country or Chatham Islands country as being an island now to New Zealand. It's the other way around. The British founded Chatham Islands before New Zealand through this Te Rā Waikato in Manukau in 1820. That's when the British started sailing lands around the world under that native title. Don't argue, because that's the truth. So, we get to this church. All the best certificates in the world comes out of that title, and that's all these bills, why there's a trillion pounds as a birth certificate value on everyone's head on this side, as 70% of the population of the world is now a trillion pounds worth. 70% of the world. There's 7.5 5 or 7.7 .7 billion people in the world. So 70% of that is about 6 billion people. 6 billion, 6 billion people. Might as well say 6 billion people in the world. That's 6 billion times a trillion pounds. That's the ver value, just the birth certificate. <coughs> that we're recovering 183 years to this flag of 1834. 183 years exactly, but right back to 1820. Right back to 1820, we can go back and charge right back to them. Although it's 1831 when the birth certificate started. We have, we have started from 1831, <coughs> that's, eight, that's 186 years of bills against the Queen side and the 30% of the population of the world, including 70% of the country of New Zealand versus 30% of the population of New Zealand. 70% of the population of New Zealand versus 30% of the population of New Zealand. This is going to the shares, the Moai Powerhouse Group, limited, limited shares in London, and the Moai Crown, King William Trust shares in New Zealand. Okay, that trust is a private company, nobody's business. Anything with not limited on it is private. So I'm just telling you online that it's registered in our own native magistrate court. And I run that. Okay? And the bank. The My Powerhouse Bank is here. Credit over this lot. Debtors. <coughs> so all you marry, Iwi, are on this side. You get the bill for stealing Charm Islands, which belongs to money. You put a title in front of them better than what I've got here. With that map of the years on it, 1831. And you can see the years you jumped on this land, the same as Chalamans got stolen from here over to there. Not, not, you're, you're saying in the history, your history written, that the Moriori ran back from here to Chalamans. No, they came from here to here. They came from there to here. It's you marriage that went over there and killed them. You're the bastards that went over there and killed them. But you didn't kill them all. We still got one of them. We still got some of them here. Live. Native surnames. 